The Sith are trying to get the band back together and apparently the Mouse House isn't happy about that. There's a rumor out there that Disney reportedly demanded cancellation of a Star Wars panel with Ian McDermott, the Emperor, and Hayden Christensen, young Anakin Skywalker. Very interesting. We're going to talk about that on Clownfish TV. This is Neon. Uh, please subscribe to the channel for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We just passed 58,000 subs. Thank you so much for that, guys. Uh, you don't realize how much it helps to the channel just to sub. Uh, definitely helps us with the Google algorithm. Uh, thank you so much, and we're hoping to hit 100,000 by the end of the year. I don't know if it's possible, but it'd be amazing if we, we could, so we can keep bringing you content like this. Uh, yeah, Disney reportedly demands cancellation of Star Wars panel with Ian McDermott and Hayden Christensen. So uh, there's been some speculation that uh, you know both Emperor Palpatine and Hayden Christensen as Anakin Skywalker would be appearing in The Rise of Skywalker. Uh, people guess that Palpatine would be returning months ago. It has been rumored since The Force Awakens that Hayden Christensen was going to return in some capacity as a Force ghost or flashback or something, and he's been doing the con circuit again. And I think this is a pretty recent thing. I don't think he was doing the con circuit for a number of years. Now he's doing it again. So it's leading people to speculate that, yeah, you know, if he's, he's ramping up his Star Wars appearances, he's probably coming back as Anakin Skywalker. Um... So we'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, very interesting development. Fan X is currently in full swing at Salt Lake City, and at a last minute cancellation, a last minute cancellation is prompting some pretty big Star Wars rumors. According to the above video from someone in attendance, Disney, Disney canceled a panel that was set to feature Ian McDermott and Hayden Christensen together, getting the band back together. Uh, Disney is, is, is ending the Sith. They're ending the Sith. While McDermott is confirmed to be reprising his role as the Emperor in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, uh, complete with um, fakey, fakey, uh, photoshopped uh, you know, poster that, that apparently swiped from an action figure, uh, there's been no confirmation that Christensen will be returning as Anakin Skywalker. I can almost guarantee it. Um, he's been kind of coming out of the woodwork lately and this is the last chance to get Anakin Skywalker Darth Vader in a Star Wars movie probably so uh, the rumor is that Disney threatened legal action if the convention continued with the panel out of fear of spoilers which is leading people to believe Christensen will be showing up as a force ghost in the new movie here are some tweets about the incident so what is this he can't he can't keep his mouth shut the Raylo Reverend uh, Megatron and Disney just canceled their panel at Fan X. Like, how else are we supposed to read that? Uh, okay, all caps. This is important. It's all caps. Okay, but Ian McDermott and Hayden Christensen keep appearing together in public, and I'm not supposed supposed to believe Anakin will be in the Rise of Skywalker. I I can almost guarantee it. They're gonna throw every everything at this movie, every classic, uh, every character they're gonna throw into this movie. The Star Wars Spotlight Panel at Fan X was canceled. The rumor is that Disney threatened litigation. What? That's crazy. Disney threatened litigation if uh, Fan X Alt Lake allowed Hayden Christensen and Ian McDermott to speak for fear of leaks. These rumors have yet to be addressed by either organization. Okay, litigation is pretty, pretty, uh, uh, pretty far, right? I mean, that's that's. Look, Star Wars actors. Uh, appear in shows all the time at conventions. You know, there's nothing... Just because Hayden Christensen and Ian McDermott were doing a con together, the two worked together like 15 years ago. You know, 15, 20 years ago, they worked together. So it totally makes sense for them to be at a convention uh, together. But yeah, there are a lot of rumors about Hayden Christensen coming back because, again, we got to beat that nostalgia drum. We've got uh, Ewan McGregor coming back as Obi-Wan. Uh, I think a lot of people, uh, you know, would be on board with Hayden Christensen coming back as uh, Anakin Skywalker. Um, you know, for those who still give a shit. <laughs> for those who still give a shit. It was rumored that he was actually going to appear in The Force Awakens. They had a sequence that they they cut that was going to have his Force ghost sort of morphing between uh, Anakin and Vader. Like, he couldn't decide what side of the Force he was on or whatever. He was by Force Seal. By Force Seal. Uh, so... This isn't the first time rumors of Christensen's return have sparked this week. Yesterday, McDermott and Christensen paid a visit to the primary children's hospital. 
And the photos of the two men together made people wonder if they're reuniting because of the upcoming film. We're going to talk a little bit about that too. Uh, whether or not the rumors are true, it's certainly intriguing that Disney would force the cancellation at the last minute. That is really harsh. Uh, do you think this means Christensen will be in the Rise of Skywalker? Okay, so here, they appeared at a hospital together. Um, so, well, at least Disney didn't step in and be like, no, you can't talk to those sick kids. You're not allowed to. Um, you know, they waited for the uh, the convention to, to uh, allegedly, allegedly intervene. But yeah, Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine made a surprise visit at Children's Hospital. They were in town. They were in town doing a convention together. Again, this isn't unusual for Star Wars actors who have worked in movies or any actors in any any movie. I mean, just because you've got the next-gen cast together at a convention doesn't mean they're making another next-gen movie. You know, doesn't mean they're actually working together. But, uh, you know, it's weird that Disney won't even let these two guys in the same room. Maybe they're afraid of the power of the dark side. Who knows? Uh, Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine aren't exactly the first characters one thinks of to spread joy. <laughs> no, I would be, I would be like, ah, oh, damn. Here come the Sith. It's it's terminal. Uh, that doesn't mean the actors who play these iconic villains are bad people. McDermott and Hayden Christensen decided to make a surprise visit to Children's Hospital in Salt Lake City Thursday morning. That is damn decent of them. I just want to put that out there. That is damn decent of them. Shocking some starstruck patients and parents in the process. Maybe there's some good in these iconic Star Wars villains after all, though we already knew that about Anakin Skywalker. Um, so, again, there, this is fueling speculation. I wonder, did, I mean, okay. So this happened on the 6th, the 5th or the 6th, and then they canceled the panel together. It hit the nerd news. And did Disney, reading about this, reading about this in the the news uh somebody at disney be like whoa 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 they appeared at a children's hospital together and and all the the news outlets are speculating speculating uh that they're gonna they're gonna spoil the movie so let's ruin let's ruin all the good vibes about these guys showing up at the hospital by forcing them to cancel their their panel that's kind of crap if it's true if it's true, that's that's kind of crappy. Uh, that they're more concerned about uh, that they're more concerned about uh, plot details of their movie being leaked than they are about uh, these guys visiting children's hospitals or just talking to fans at the convention. Um, so that that's possible. Maybe they didn't even know these two were together. Maybe they didn't even know these two guys were together and they worked together, you know, on a couple of movies. Maybe they just didn't know. Disney's like, oh, we can't have them get together. They're gonna spoil the big the big twist ending. You know, people are talking, people are talking. If that's the case, because of them going to the hospital, then that was pretty crap. Um, that was pretty crap that they had to threaten litigation, <laughs> you know, threaten litigation to get them to not appear together. And again, this look, I don't know if this is true or not. I don't know if it's true or not, but I will say that if you are working under the Disney umbrella, uh, they are very controlling of their people. Uh, you know, they're very, especially, you know, with Star Wars being in the situation it's in right now, I think they're very, very concerned about anybody from Star Wars speaking out, except Ryan Johnson. Ryan Johnson can go out there and say he's doing a bunch of movies and TV shows and whatever, even though there's been no official confirmation. He can say whatever the hell he wants to, and he's okay. Uh, Mark Hamill gets away with some stuff, but there was a jab in one of his tweets saying that, remember, you're on camera and Disney's watching, um, you know, but, uh, yeah, I don't think Disney had any idea that these guys were going to a convention together and, uh, they put the kibosh on it and I can see them doing it. I mean, I'm not saying that's what happened, but that's the only reason I can think that they would cancel the show like that. And it probably, probably is, it probably is because of their visit to the hospital hitting the news. Um, so, you know, who's actually running the empire here, you know, uh, fan sided star Wars panel canceled with Hayden Christensen and Ian McDermott fueling speculation. Again, Disney does this stuff, uh, Disney and Lucasfilm, they do this stuff that actually looks worse. It actually looks worse for them to, uh, do some of the things they do. They actually do more damage to themselves that they just let things play out naturally. Um, 
So here we go from fan sided. Uh, recent panel was canceled. Fan X in Salt Lake City. Supposed to be a Star Wars themed panel with Hayden Christensen, McDermott, Anakin, the Emperor. That's not unusual. Again, any comic book convention, if those two guys are together, you know, yeah, they're going to put a panel together. They'll talk about, you know, working on episode two and three. Uh, McDermott might drop a couple hints about episode nine, but, uh, you know, if I were Hayden Christensen, I'd keep my damn mouth shut. <laughs> because, you know, NDAs and all that. Supposedly, the panel was canceled by Disney, according to comicbook.com, which sparked plenty of speculation. McDermott is supposed to be reprising his role, and uh, we don't know about Anakin Skywalker. So, the cancellation makes us pause. It's not as though Episode Nine stars haven't been answering questions and going on media interviews. Oscar Isaac Daisy Ridley have been on media tours for new movies promoting uh, that they've been promoting the last couple months. They were all on the red carpet, D23 answering, mostly deflecting question after question about the rise of Skywalker. McDermott and Hayden Christensen were both at Star Wars Celebration in April. That is true. But we only found out about Celebration of the Emperor's involvement. Um, we only found out at Celebration, 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 Celebration of the Emperor's involvement of the final movie. In the Skywalker star. So what now? Why would Disney want this panel canceled if there was nothing more than two actors who were linked speaking on a panel? That's the question everyone's wondering. Speculation is also rampant that Hayden may appear in the final movie. Force Ghost will return, at least Luke, but there are other characters that are dead in the series are rumored to return as ghosts. Um, yeah, thanks to Disney for adding smoke to the speculation. If Disney wouldn't have canceled that panel in the fashion that they did. I don't think anybody would have thought anything of it. Again, Disney PR has this uncanny ability to make themselves look worse by trying to save face. And it happens over and over again. It's not just it's not just Lucasfilm. It's not just uh, Marvel, but just Disney in general. You see like every time their PR team uh, tries to uh, put out a forest fire, they grab the gasoline can instead of the bucket of water. And that's kind of what happened here. So people weren't thinking they were up to something before. They definitely are now. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.